And the court case that could make it harder for prosecutors to put people on California's death row. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. For the first time in more than 30 years, there's a good chance that California's death penalty could become harder to impose. What's more, nearly every inmate on San Quentin's death row could be affected. Dante McDaniel is one of more than 700 inmates on San Quentin's death row. He was convicted of two murders in 2004 following a gang-related drug deal when he was 24 years old. The state Supreme Court today began hearing arguments in McDaniel's appeal. His lawyers focusing on what are called aggravating factors. 22 different things such as gang activity, was the perpetrator lying in wait, or was the crime especially heinous or cruel? USF law professor Laura Bazelon says right now the law only requires jurors agree that there was an aggravating factor, not on a specific one. And that's McDaniel's argument to the Supreme Court. The lawyers are saying that the jurors need to agree on the specific aggravating factors that lead them to find death beyond a reasonable doubt. And the law doesn't require that they do that right now. And that's what the governor and public defenders want changed, thus making the death penalty more difficult to impose. And Professor Bazelon believes the makeup of the court right now means this change has a real chance of happening. We now have a court that is tilted to the left. There are Jerry Brown appointees on this court. There are Gavin Newsom appointees on this court. And there may be some thinking by the litigants that there's going to be a more receptive audience to attacks on the constitutionality of the death penalty. But she doesn't necessarily believe the Supreme Court's ruling would be retroactive and apply to everyone who's already on death row. They could say, yes, there's a problem with this death sentence, but everyone else who came before this ruling doesn't get the benefit of it. They're stuck with their death sentences. It's just moving forward prospectively. Defendants will get the benefit. Now, the professor says it's really unclear what the court will do in terms of making any uh, change retroactive. And ultimately, the district attorneys in each county will decide whether to retry the sentencing phase in all those convictions. But many DAs have signed on with the governor in favor of this change. Look for a ruling in the next three to six months.